Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we'll be looking at hero changes that I would personally would like to see in the near future and this video was completely prompted by the fact that a week ago or two weeks ago Blizzard was going to annihilate Blood Decays, they were going to nerf their tier set to an extent that all of the high end mythicus pushers and raiders were looking to step away from Blood Decay. But the community outro, the community feedback had forced, almost forced Blizzard to revert the changes and implement a much more sensible nerf and this got me thinking what kind of healer changes buffs nerfs i would like to see in the near future because community feedback is being heard by blizzard to some extent and this video is completely derived from my personal needs and wants for each healer spec and it's mainly focusing on mythic close because i do feel that in raiding even though there is a lot of disparity between top hbs healers and things like that it is interesting to see a completely different healer meta in raids so right now we're talking about Mythic Plus, and again, you have to consider, we're not looking at adding new talents. Blizzard doesn't add new talents this late in expansion. Blizzard doesn't rework legendaries this late in expansion. They usually do like 5% nerf, 5% buff, maybe a little change in the tier set, a little change in some of the legendaries, so keep that in mind. So let's go to the first healer that I feel needs some substantial healer changes, and that's going to be Miss the Weaver Monk. Surprise, surprise, the least played healer right now, both in Raid and Mythic Plus need some changes now a lot of the times people will be complaining about mistweaver in all forms of content and i think that's a bit of a cap type of thing because if you look at mistweavers in raiding mistweavers in mythic raiding are performing really really well they're doing some of the top hps out there they're providing really strong passive dps and on top of that they're monks they give you five percent physical debuff which again is pretty relevant when your windwalker is not doing all that hot or maybe you don't have a brewmaster monk. so monks in raid are fine and that makes a whole lot of sense. But in Mythic Plus, the community perception, honestly, some people think that a Mistweaver is not capable of doing a plus 15 key, which is why. The community perception for Mistweavers in Mythic Plus is far worse than their actual current state. And Blizzard has recently buffed their Spinning Crane Kick, and it made a whole lot of sense for them to buff Spinning Crane Kick because it doesn't interact with Ancient Teachers of the Monastery, which is going to make them a little bit better in Mythic Plus content, where there's a lot of trash pack mobs. In Raids, it's not going to be a big deal. So this is a direct buff to Mistweavers in Mythic Plus, and it makes sense because right now, one of the biggest issues with Mistweavers is their DPS. Now, a lot of the times in high-end Mythic Plus keys, healer DPS is the differentiating factor between healers because every healer, especially with 4 set bonus, can pretty much heal all content out there, including some of the highest keys in the world. Where some healers fall down is their utility and their DPS. So first of all, the community perception for Mistweavers needs to increase. Blizzard has mentioned before that a class could be performing pretty decently, and I don't think Mistweaver is all that far away from being close to other healers, but the community views them as the absolutely bottom-of-the-barrel healer that's not capable of even doing plus 15s, there is an issue. You need to have a buff that's going to increase community perception. People might view it and see like, oh, yo, Mistweavers are getting a buff. They might be the best. What kind of buff would I want? For me, the number one thing that would make Mistweaver a lot more fun is going to be an increase to DPS because it does feel a bit bad when you're trying so hard as a Mistweaver monk. Again, when I say trying so hard, you're basically spinning crane kicking and trash pack mobs until you need to heal. I would like a covenant for DPS, and for me, it's going to be Nightway. Feyline Stomp, let's be honest, Feyline Stomp was, it looked like it was designed for Mythic Plus anyways. It feels really nice to press. It feels impactful to press, even it might not be as impactful as it should be, but it feels fun to press this ability. You're getting resets. I would like to see a mana cost reduction for Feyline Stomp. I would like to see a DPS increase to Feyline Stomp on top of that. So now Mistweavers would have an option. For example, I'm pushing high-end Mythic Plus keys. I want to add additional more damage. I'm going to go Night Fae. I'm going to be using Feyline Stomp. It's going to have a mana cost reduction. Again, you have to keep in mind, mana is not that big of a deal if your group kills her every time, which should happen, but a mana cost reduction to Feyline Stomp would be nice. Extra DPS would be nice. And now you will be pumping damage or doing comparative damage to a lot of other healers. Maybe a bit more. You're going to be doing a good amount of healing and you have good utility and it would feel a lot better to play a mistweaver in mythic plus content and hopefully this would also bring up the community perception a lot of people need to think that mistweaver is op once people re-roll they might find mistweaver to be extremely fun and you're gonna stick with mistweaver and then the mistweaver population is going to grow and grow and stabilize because right now the mistweaver community and the population of mistweavers especially in mythic plus content is really underwhelming and the reason i said to both night phase because it would be very similar to what kirin resto shaman is going through right now resto shaman if they want to do mythic plus they go kirin 
Vesper Totem is really, really nice if it does counter, it does damage and healing, similar to what Phalanx Tom does. And then if Resto Shaman wants to do HPS and raids, they're gonna go Vent here. So you would have the same kind of scenario for Mistweaver. Mistweaver, Nightway, and Metaclos, and in raids you might be going Venti or Necrolord, depending on what is your preference. If Blizzard doesn't want to do Covenant increases, or if they feel they don't want to pigeonhole you into a certain Covenant for certain content, they could just increase the base damage of all Mistweaver abilities and nerf Ancient Digital Monastery so it doesn't scale out of the control. That's another option that they can do, but it also would require a bit more testing in terms of not creating an overpowered healer in raids, because Mistweaver is not that far away from being overpowered in mythic raiding. Believe me, they can do so much healing and provide a good amount of damage so these are my suggestions for miss weaver monk now let's go on to restoration druid now resto druid again very similar position to what miss weaver had they are pumping in raid situations the amount of hps that they're doing is just wild they scaled so well with double legendaries with the four sets and honestly i'm playing Resto druid in raids and i'm having so much fun in mythic plus it's a completely different story i still have a lot of fun playing resto druid but the utility that you provide again Keep in mind, I'm saying utility. I'm playing Resto Shaman in Mythic Plus and I'm playing Resto Druid in Mythic Plus. And every time I'm comparing my Resto Druid to Resto Shaman, and honestly, there's just so much utility that is lacking for Resto Druid. You don't have an interrupt. Again, not a lot of healers have interrupt. But you don't have an AoE stone. You don't even have Typhoon as Resto Druid anymore because you go Feral Affinity. So outside of certain Mythic Plus affixes like Raging, where Sood is pretty much MVP. Resto Druid just provides really good healing and decent damage that also requires you to try so much harder with Feral Affinity. But don't get me wrong, there's going to be plenty of Resto Druids who are doing the highest keys in the world and they're going to, again, they're going to have a lot of success. But I do think the Resto Druid could use a bit of a bump in terms of their Mythicus performance. And I know it might sound a little bit weird, but Blizzard initially nerfed. Kyrian. They nerfed Kyrian or Kinjus Affinity and how it used to provide stats for you and your bonded partner. And that kind of nerf was prompted from the Balance Druid community because Balance Druids were doing really, they were doing really, really well before 9.2. And Blizzard nerfed this across the board. So all the Southern Guardian Druids, Balance Druids, and Resto Druids were no longer looking at Kyrian as the MVP. And I think this change should be reverted for Resto Druids. I think Resto Druids should have an option if they want to do the sim build, if they want to provide additional stats to your DPS, because right now, if you're looking at Mythic Plus as a healer, you know that healer's DPS is not even close to what a tank provides or a DPS provides. Healer's healing, you might be out healed by a tank, especially a Blue Decay. So a lot of the times, healer is falling into this kind of like a support role. And I feel like if I'm playing my Resto Druid, I'm giving up a lot of this utility. I don't have Typhoon. I, don't, I do have Balres, which is really nice. But keep in mind, Blood Decay and Warlock is in meta right now, so Balrez is not that big of a deal to have as a healer anymore. So if I'm giving up a lot of this utility to play Resto Druid, I don't feel that bad about playing Kyrian and being like, oh hey, okay, I'm not doing a whole lot of DPS in this key, but I am providing so much extra by giving this Warlock, for example, so much more damage throughout this key, and this Warlock is doing 35k overall damage on a fortified week. I feel good about losing that utility to play Kyrian, as a restoration druid and i know there's so many people who absolutely hate the kyrian sim build they don't want their damage or healing being transferred to someone else they want all of that to themselves which i can understand to a certain extent but as a healer i also feel that providing support to a group is an important part of being a teammate it's not like the sim build is not emerging right now if you're playing holy priest you're probably playing kyrian and you're pumping damage but you can sacrifice all of that kyrian dps to go night Fae and provide cooldown reduction to your party so now that dps is converted into someone else's dps meter and i'm not sure which is the better one right now people are trying out in higher keys but you can see what i'm talking about there is support builds emerging and resto druid in its current state can absolutely play kieran and do well but i feel like it should be more impactful in order for druid to challenge that holy priest rest of shaman meta and that kind of concludes the main section of the video in terms of the healer changes that i would really like to see in the very near future i think the changes to miss viewers the changes to resto druid would really bring a lot more enjoyment to me now the rest of the classes there are certain classes that need changes, but they're, how do I say it, a lot more up to debate in terms of what is the right way to go about it. So let's go and talk about Holy Paladin. Holy Paladin has fallen down from being the golden child of Blizzard to being the middle child, and especially in Mythicus content. Don't get me wrong, 
Holy Paladin is not the worst healer. It is not the best healer in certain situations, but it is in a very decent spot. A lot of the guilds in Race the World first would have to bring a Holy Paladin, especially for tank healing. And in Mythic Plus, Holy Paladin might not be the most wanted healer, but it's also not the worst. And there will be Holy Paladins doing some of the highest keys in the world. But you also cannot deny the fact that there has been a severe dip in Holy Paladin population because a lot of people might have been forced to reroll to something else or they wanted to reroll. So what could change? What could they do? Maybe they should revert the wing change. And the wing change was a really, really hot button discussion in the Paladin Discord, in the Paladin communities and everywhere because that wing change was going to impact so much. So they nerfed wings, for the people who don't know, the wings provides you uh, damage healing, 20% damage healing and crit strike, but it used to provide 30% damage healing and crit strike, and they nerfed it for 9.2, which also heavily impacted the viability of Necrolord. Now, Necrolord is still the number one choice for Mythic Plus and raids, so if you revert the Avenging Rat change, this would push Necrolord even further as being the number one choice covenant for basically all of the content because of the wing up time because wings are going to become stronger and i'm not sure if this would make things a little bit too overpowered i don't think so i think it would be fun to see because i do really enjoy necrolord for the people who are playing holy paladin how are you enjoying necrolord so far because i think it is a fun playstyle. i think it's an interesting playstyle. and if they do revert the wings nerf do you think it would make holy paladins too overpowered I'm not 100% certain of this, so I would really like to know your opinion. And the last healer that I kind of want to talk about is Spin Priest, and I probably don't have a good solution to make the Spin Priest a lot more viable in Mythic Plus. Maybe I do, but I don't think it's going to be implemented this season, and that is to do with the fact of Atonement Scaling. First of all, Discipline, the population of Discipline Priest has fallen down severely because Holy is absolutely dominating in Mythic Plus content, really strong in Mythic Raiding. There are a lot of fights where the Spin Priest can do really well in Raiding as well, but Holy is really popping off. So I don't feel too bad about Discipline falling off a bit because, let's be honest, this is the first time in a really, really long time where you can say, why are you playing Discipline? Holy is so much better. Like, this has never been said. And so, <laughs> like, it's it's wild for me to say this in this video. But what could happen? What could change for Discipline Priest in Mythic? Because I do think that a lot of people, I think so many people out there who play Discipline in Mythic rating or Mythic Plus high and keep pushing would suggest atonement kind of scale atonements are good and dandy in mythic raiding where you can have a bunch of atonements out in raid and your damage is gonna heal them and it all feels really great aoe healing but in mythic plus content where you only have five people the atonement transfer or healing transfer might not be all that amazing so maybe they should add some sort of atonement healing scaling when you're in a fireman group or a mythic plus group they used to have some sort of pvp talent similar to this and I think a lot of people have suggested this for a really long time, but Blizzard has always been very adamant about it. I'm not sure if it's about implementation or something like that, because I think it's such a clear kind of fix to help this mean priest in terms of healing in Mythic Plus content, and maybe even increase their damage a little bit more so they can compete with other healers. But I don't think it feels all that bad, because if you're playing a priest right now, you have a really strong option of Holy Priest, so it doesn't feel too bad of having one spec, Discipline, fall off a bit more in Mythic Plus content. I still feel that Discipline Priest is a lot more fun to play in Mythic Plus than Holy Priest. That's something that I have to put out there because Discipline is a really, really exciting spec in Mythic Plus because I love that damage and true damage you're healing. That is such an interesting concept that should be built upon more in Mythic Plus content. And for the summer of the video, keep in mind, guys, these are my personal thoughts. These are my kind of suggestions in terms of what could happen for each healer in mythic plus content keep in mind i didn't talk about wrestle shamans i didn't talk about holy priest because i do think they're in a good position right now they don't need any changes they don't need any nerfs or any buffs i think they're actually in a pretty good spot s tier every other healer could kind of climb up a little bit and kind of you know challenge them for the throne type of thing but in raiding i do think the healer balance is relatively okay because if you get each healer spec being represented to some extent in Race to World First, that's a pretty decent job well done in terms of Blizzard, in terms of getting new healing classes being represented in that 
healer roster in mythic raiding and maybe for the next expansion blizzard should really rethink how mastery works for mythic Cruise healers because right now any piece with mastery for any healer who's doing high-end mythic Cruise keys is considered to be a dead piece while mastery can be a pretty good healing stat it provides you no damage whatsoever so it feels bad getting mastery pieces and just completely disregarding them in mythic Cruise content they could change up mastery to an extent like restoration druid the more hots you have target the more healing you're doing what if you also have an additional effect the more bleeds the more dots you have on a target you're also going to be providing additional damage and you could apply that for a lot of the healer masters and all of a sudden mastery won't be an ignored stat and a piece with mastery might actually be something you want something to consider or food for thought in the next expansion so let me know how you feel about this video guys i really want to know what kind of healer changes you would like to see which healer needs some buffs, which healer needs nerfs. A lot of times I prefer buffing a healer rather than nerfing them because all of a sudden if you invest a whole lot of time in a certain healer, they're getting nerfed, it doesn't feel that great. So which healer would you like to see buffs? What kind of buffs you would want? Again, keep in mind, reworking talents or creating new legendaries, it usually doesn't tend to happen this late in the expansion. Keep it simple, let me know which healer needs some changes and I'll see you in my next video.